Hey guys, it's Lisa, and this is kind of a follow-up video to the video that I just made. So I'm probably going to post two in the same day, but um, I was walking up the mountain, and um, if I jump or anything, it's because I heard uh, leaves, and they're usually squirrels, but when I hear it, I think bear, you know. So if I jump, don't, don't worry about it, uh, unless it's a bear, and then worry about it. But anyway, I was uh, walking up the mountain earlier, and... Uh, it was getting kind of hard, so I was kind of like starting to do the breathing hard thing. You know how you do when you're exercising and whatnot. And um, this gnat like flew right in my face and right in my mouth. Okay. And my first reaction was like, you know how you do the, you know, you try to cough it out. Stuck my finger in my mouth trying to get it out. And um, it was so small and, you know, it was in my mouth. So I couldn't, I, honestly, I, I, there was no way I was going to get it. So I just thought, Lisa, swallow the bug. Swallow the bug, take a drink of my handy dandy coconut water, and wash down the bug. And I thought, I started thinking about that. Oops, hold on, I dropped my pocket knife. Gotta bring a pocket knife when you hike alone, because you never know. Anyway, so I started thinking about that, and I thought, um, how, how much is that like life? Like, sometimes we're hit with, we're going along, and we're going towards our goals, and all of a sudden, we start getting hit with stuff, you know. In this case, it was a gnat in my mouth, but just stuff, obstacles and problems and whatever. And we fight it, you know, we try to push it away and we try to get it out. And what we really should do sometimes is just swallow the bug, you know, just move through the problem, get to the other side of it and be done with it, move forward. And so I thought that was kind of congruent with life in general. And, um, I'm hoping nobody passes me when I'm doing this video because they'll probably take me to the psych ward. <laughs> anyway, so I just want to share that with you because I thought, you know, when we come across problems in our life, obstacles, we really need, we have choices and we, we need to make decisions. And, you know, you might say, well, sometimes you don't have any choices, but you always have a choice. Sometimes the choice is just doing nothing. Sometimes that's the best choice and sometimes it's not. So, you know, I like to think of life as just, um, just a, like a kind of an obstacle course. And, you know, I used to say, we just need to, everyone else just needs to be problem solvers. Instead of whining and complaining about things when they come at us, just think of it as an obstacle course and we navigate the course and we get through it on the other side. And um, so now, I, I, instead of being problem solvers, because problem is such a negative word, um, I like to think of us as uh, like life athletes, you know, where we're just going to get through the obstacles of life and we're going to get on the other side and we're going to finish the, you know, go across the finish line and get our medal. And we might not come in first and that's okay, but we're going to do our dang best and we're going to cross that finish line and we're going to have our medal and we're going to be proud of what we did. And that's how I want my life to be. So from here forward, I'm not a problem solver, solver anymore. I am a life athlete and I encourage you to be one too. And um, if you feel like your life is too full of obstacles right now and you want some options, you always have options, there's a link below that will take you to a video where you can just kind of take a peek at something that can change your life. I mean, why not? It's, it doesn't cost you anything to watch it. Take a look at it, click the link, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.